Hi guys, welcome to the Traveling Hobbit. My name is Neil and welcome to the special Halloween video that I'm going to do today. So stay in touch guys. Ooh. Hello guys and uh, welcome to another episode of the Traveling Hobbit. My name is Neil and uh, if you're new here, please press the subscribe button below, like, comment, and share, and I'll comment something back. And don't forget to press the notification bell as well, just right beside the subscribe button, okay guys? So, what are we going to do today? Today, we are just at home, and we're going to be doing a Halloween episode today, okay? So, it's all spectacular drama whatsoever we're going to do today, okay? So, uh, we're going to do an apple Halloween cake, basically. So, um, we're going to the kitchen now, and we're going to start with, um, with Bishop as well, which is right on the corner out there. There you go. And uh, you're going to see him again later on with his, um, with his face painted with, with Halloween gestures as well. So, let's have a look, guys, okay? So, let's go! Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Traveling Hobbit. My name is Neil and welcome to our Halloween special. So today we're going to do uh, an apple cake, a Halloween apple cake, okay? So with me today is my trusty old partner, which is Bishop. <laughs> there you go. So, um, so Bishop, we're going to be pointing at the ingredients again and I'll be reading through all the ingredients that we're going to to use, okay? So, first off, you need to preheat the oven 180 degrees Celsius or gas 4, okay? So we're just doing it again, uh, now, so it's all set up for, for us already. So that's already a, a tick box over there. So the ingredients are 225 grams of self-raising flour, which is that one, okay? Two teaspoons ground cinnamon, which is that one. And then 115 grams of unsalted butter, butter, sorry, diced and chilled. And uh, 115 grams light brown sugar, which is right here. And then one large egg. We have to beat it up earlier on, so uh, later, so it's not beaten up yet, it's still well formed there. And 6.8 tablespoons of milk, which is that one. And uh, 225 grams or 325 grams of apples peeled, poured and diced. So we did it already, so we just take the same time. And that's the apple. Any apple will do. Maybe cooking apple, what kind of apple? Uh, Bramley or um, Granny Smith's work best. But any Granny Smith or, or Bramley or any apple will, will yeah. be fine, so no problems with that, okay? And then uh, two tablespoons of demerara sugar. Demerara. So that's our sugar today. So let's start off. I think that's all our ingredients. Not too bad, yeah. really. So yeah. let's go. Hi, guys. So we're just going to start off with the baking. So we just mix the flour and the cinnamon all together. And we're going to be mixing it all together now. Okay. And then we're going to be adding the butter into the flour using the fingers. So, fingers. so you rub it together, it takes a little while, and you want to get breadcrumbs. So the heat from your hand melts the butter and the flour, wraps onto it and makes lovely little breadcrumbs. It takes a little while. Hi guys, so we just mixed up all the ingredients here, and as you can see it looks like breadcrumbs consistency. So, so that's the flour, the cinnamon, and the butter, and yeah. it's nice yeah. and very crummy. Mm -hmm. And now we're adding the, the sugar, the brown sugar here. So after we mix up everything here, we're just going to be adding the beaten egg, uh, as you can see here. Also our, our milk. Yeah. So about six to eight uh, tablespoons of milk first, okay? 
and then we're aiming for a uh, smooth, smooth, thick consistency, consistency of, uh, of the batter, okay? And then we're just going to add up the apple. Over here, and uh, are we adding up the demerara? Not that white since the end. So we're just adding up the apple here, okay? If you like raisins or sultanas, you can actually put 100 grams of sultanas in instead of part of the apple. So if you're going to do that, it's 100 grams of sultanas and 225 grams of apples. But Neil doesn't like dried fruit, so we don't have dried fruit. No. No sultanas, no raisins. Because they look like rabbit poop. They look like poop. <laughs> Right, so we're all done with the, with all the mixing and everything like that. So we're just going to put it on a what do you call it? It's a pre-prepared baking tin, yeah. uh, <laughs> lined with baking parchment just to make sure it comes out nice and clean. Yeah. So there you go. So all you have to do is just to pour everything there and then just gently smooth it down. Spread it nice and smoothly. So. Everything's all ready here now. All we need to do is just to sprinkle the demerara sugar, okay? Which I'm going to do. This is the hardest part of the baking, right? <laughs> so I'm doing it now, evenly. Look at that, it's so difficult. Oh no! <laughs> this is a hard life of doing this. Wow, there you go. So I'm, I'm, making, do. I'm making it as even as possible and sugary as possible. <laughs> that's, that's, that's enough. Okay. Cool. You all right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so the demerara sugar, when it bakes... Stop it! <laughs> just makes a nice crust on top when it bakes and you get like a nice caramelly crust on top. Yeah. Medium shell. And we're 180. Hi guys, so 35 minutes later, our pie, well, our cake is done. So I'm just going to put it out of the oven here. Careful. Okay, Ooh, look at that. Really nice. Right, we need to test it whether if it's cooked or not. Okay, I'm just going to put a small yeah, it's cooked. How do you know it's cooked? Because it's come out clean? It's come out clean and it's not mushy. Yay. There you go. So it's all cooked guys, okay? So yeah. Hi guys, so we're just going to cut this final piece of our work. This is the finished product here. It looks like a flat pumpkin, but it's apple. It's an apple cake, okay? So we're just going to cut it now and taste it. So let's go. So this is the slice of our apple cake. So I'm just going to try it with ice cream as well. Vanilla ice cream, I think. So yeah, that's good. Let's have a look. It's tasty. It looks nice. So I'm sure it's tasty. So. You should try this guys, okay? So, thank you very much for watching this uh, week's episode. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you press the subscribe button below, like, comment, and share, and I'll comment something back. And press the notification bell as well so that you can see me every week. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed that guys. So, just remember, create happy memories and always keep smiling, okay? See you later guys. So hi.